In my first video, you'll see how I had problems with my Mini MPI and had to recode the ECU. I've had quite a lot of queries about how I did that and particularly how you use the T300 unit. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you how it works. Um, first thing you need to remember is if you're using the T300, you need to have the right cable. So this is a Rover MEMS 5AS specific cable. So the MEMS is the engine management system. 5ES is immobilizer system. So I got that from a guy called Technozen. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I think it's about £25. But sounds expensive, but just consider it as a tool you need to fix the car. Um, that cable plugs in to the grey diagnostics port down there. You can just about see it. Let me try plugging that in one handed. There we are. Right, as soon as it's plugged in, T300 unit will light up. First screen just asks about the contrast. So we we'll just press enter to get through that. Then ask for your password. Password is, is written on the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you just type that in. Gives you a warning about it. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Right, you need to select your vehicle. So it's uh, in alphabetical order. So if you actually press the up, button and go up to Rover. There we are. Enter. And we want to look at the engine management system, EMS. That one. Uh, it's MEMS 2J is what you need for the ECU on the Mini. Select that. Tells you to turn the ignition on. Oh, turn the ignition on. Ignition's now on. Give that a second and it will Connect. Yeah, press enter. Try and, please wait, trying to communicate. I mean, it should come up with the, there we are. It's identified the ECU. So if you get this far, you're winning, you know, you, you know it's working. Press enter. So now you're in there, you can, you can go through the menu. So ECU identification just brings up that information we was up before. Fault codes. You will always get fault codes on the Mini because it doesn't use all the channels on the ECU. So if I go and read the fault codes now, oil temperature sensor, air temp, coolant temp. See, some of those are historic anyway, oil temp sensor. Uh, and you can clear them, but you can guarantee if you clear them, um, switch ignition off and back on again, they'll just come back anyway. They'll just be there again. So if I read them, same faults. So getting those faults isn't all that bad. Right, uh, live data. Live data is what it says, live data. So it uses the sensors on the engine. So coolant temperature, oil temperature, air temperature, throttle angle, engine speed, all manner of different things, voltages. That obviously changes a lot when the engine's running. Uh, we can go to actuators. <clears throat> Never really had any success using any of these. Uh, I think the more features which are on other rovers and, and not on the minis. Um, sorry. Press the back button. So, uh, special functions. This is when it gets interesting. So a coil test fires the coil. You will have seen that in the previous video. I was getting a spark at the spark plug. Injector test fires the injector, so add fuel squirting out. Set ECU to insecure, basically disconnects it from the immobiliser. And recode the ECU is what you need if you put a new ECU in and you need to link it back to the immobiliser. So you literally just press enter. Procedure complete, done. That was it, simple as that. Um, if we go back through the settings and we want to have a look at the immobiliser. If we then flip the switch over to 5AS, we go around to Rover again and this time remotes Mini. Um, it will allow us to add additional remotes onto the system. So ignition's on.
yeah, Lucas 5 AS. Special functions, so you can program an additional remote, an additional clip, if you want to do that. It's, I have, I've never used it yet, but I imagine it's really straightforward. So yeah, that is very briefly how you use the T300 system. Um, hope that video helped. It really is straightforward, but you must have that cable. It doesn't work without that cable. It looks like, pull the cable out, it's like a normal OBD1 or OBD2 port, but it's not. If you buy a, a Bluetooth generic OBD2 reader thing, it just won't work. It's got to be this cable and it's got to be programmed for, for Rover and MEMS. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you like this video. If you do like it, press the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, remember to follow us on Instagram and remember to stay tuned for more videos.